Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're tackling a question that many developers encounter while using SVN, especially with tools like Tortoise SVN. Our viewer is curious about the difference between delete and unversion when it comes to managing files in their repository. Welcome back to another technical video. Today I'll be going through your questions, answering them and hopefully finding that solution that you're looking for. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy just like me and hopefully get to that resolution you need. Now, let's get started. Let's begin by understanding the delete command in SVN. When you delete a file using this command, it removes the file from your working copy and marks it for deletion in the repository. This means that the file will no longer be tracked in future revisions, but its history will still be preserved in the repository. You can always revert to previous versions if needed. Now let's look at the unversion command. When you unversion a file, it removes the file from version control without deleting it from your working copy. This is useful when you want to stop tracking a file but still want to keep it for local use. The file will remain in your directory, but SVN will no longer manage it. In summary, use delete when you want to remove a file from both your working copy and version control, while unversion is for keeping the file locally but stopping SVN from tracking it. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. In SVN, deleting a file does not erase its revision history. You can still access previous versions of that file. Think of it like a file having a timeline of changes. When you delete a file, it is removed from the working copy. However, if you use the unversion option, the file remains on your disk but is no longer tracked by SVN. In Tortoise SVN, the delete keep local option is similar to unversion. It allows you to remove the file from version control while keeping it on your local machine. This feature is useful for fixing errors, like removing files that shouldn't be in the repository, such as IDE-specific files. And that's it, guys. I hope that's found the answer that you were looking for and you got through to that solution. If you did, please hit the subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. And until the next time, you have a technical issue, I'll see ya. Have a good one.